faced with the obsolescence of Ukrainian tanks, the Russian armor units easily attacked and did not seem to encounter great resistance from the Ukrainian side. After the Russian military began large-scale attacks on targets across Ukraine on the morning of February 24th, many questions were raised regarding the combat capabilities of Ukrainian armor units. Ukraine is the country that deploys the largest tank force in Europe with 800 to 950 tanks, almost 90% of which are variant of the T-64, of which an estimated 720 to 750 are in service. While Russia is the country with the largest tank force in the world, and is both more modern and more diverse, with a significant number of tanks inherited from the Soviet era. Ukraine has prioritized quantity over quality when it comes to armor warfare investments, and its tanks are rarely upgraded or improved. Besides, Ukraine also sells a large number of its tanks to other countries. Although Ukraine inherited one of the largest and most sophisticated tank factories in the world, the Malisev plant was operating at moderate capacity and struggled to complete only a few tanks a year. Although T-72 is generally considered to be more cost-effective to operate, the T-64 tanks are considered by Ukraine to be the mainstay of its armor forces. Most of the Malaysia factory line already produces T-64 and T-80, so it will be easier to upgrade and maintain. The operating costs of the T-80 were much higher, which resulted in these vehicles being kept only in storage. Meanwhile, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Russia created the T-90 tank as well as other advanced tanks such as the T-14. Ukraine has not had any breakthroughs since the Soviet era. The T-64 dates from the middle 1960s. All variants in service in Ukraine are derivatives of the T-64B that was first entered service in 1976. Improvements include integrated explosive reactive armor contact one and some small external equipment. The armor of the Ukrainian T-64 tank is still inferior to the basic armor of Russian tanks, such as the T-80U. The T-64BV version forms the majority of Ukrainian tank units, with an estimated 630 to 650 units in service. However, its combat capabilities are considered obsolete on the Martin battlefield. A more capable T-64 variant was the T-64BM, which featured an improved 850 horsepower engine that offset the extra weight and improved maneuverability of the T-64BV. The tank is integrated with nice explosive reactive armor, as well as a new 125mm gun, but the vehicle is still rated below average for a modern tank. A further improvement is the T-64BM2 version, which uses a more powerful 1000 horsepower engine 
and is notably equipped with thermal SARS, a feature that was used in the Soviet era on the T-80 UK tank and on, on frontline Russian tanks, but has only been incorporated into Ukrainian tanks since 2020. The rest of the Ukrainian armor units are made up of about 100 to 120 T-72 AV tanks. Ukraine is one of the last remaining countries to exploit derivatives of the T-72A line from the 1970s, which were considered obsolete by the end of the Cold War. A Ukrainian alternative is the T-80 tanks, instead of keeping them in storage. The T-80 UD is one of the most capable Soviets produced in Malisev and would pose the greatest threat to Russian armor than anything currently available to Ukraine. However, the high operating costs of the T-80 UD led the Ukrainian military to put these vehicles in reserve, replacing them with a large number of T-64 tanks with cheaper operating costs. Due to the overwhelming performance advantage, Russian armor vehicles face little challenge in combat when confronting Ukrainian tanks. This also had a great impact on the fighting spirit of Ukrainian soldiers, causing them to lack confidence in their weapons and to abandon combat vigorous to ensure their own safety. <laughs>